Hi, I'm doing number 86 for burnum opulus roseum, uh, sterile. Uh, this is the common snowball. It gets its name common snowball from its flower inserescent, which is this kind of three inch wide uh, pom pom. All these little tiny little inflorescence here. It's a better picture. So it looks like little tiny little snowballs on a green shrub. Um, it is sterile, so that means these flowers do not pollinate. Uh, they do not go to fruit, which are these type of uh, cranberries that are edible, but somewhat bitter, so not very palatable. Um, palatable. Um, uh, it is a shrub, so it's great for hedges and screens. Uh, any margins you have around the garden. Uh, attracts plenty of butter, uh, butterflies. If that is something you're looking for. This foliage is this kind of nice green, a little bit serrated on the edges. Uh, those leaves turn yellow and then bright red to purple in the fall. Um, and the shape of this plant is kind of a kind of arching branches that kind of round out when it matures, uh, growing to eight feet tall to 15 feet. Uh, same way with wise, eight to 15 feet wide. As far as what the plant needs, it needs a little bit on the acidic side, uh, full sun, it can handle part shade, and the water is on medium, so it's going to need a little bit more water, very drought tolerant. Uh, its origins are from Europe to Asia to North Africa. So, um, they're very susceptible to aphids and powdery mildew, so that is something you need to look out for. Um, and yeah, that is the common snowball. Uh, there are different varieties like here. I have a little bit more on the yellow side, but they make really nice uh, ornamental type hedges for your garden.